Hey guys, Matt Stafford, the owner of Stafford Senior Solutions, also the founder of the Senior Referral Academy. I want to come to you today and talk to you about some three key observations that I have with growing communities. There are a lot of communities out there that are growing. I have the fortunate ability to walk in these communities, tour them on a regular basis, and I want to give you some three key observations of a growing community as well as a struggling community. Now, there's no harm or foul here. Just kind of figure out where you are, and if you know somebody in the industry, you can help them out with this information. That'd be great. But the key of a growing community, obviously, what I'm talking about is their census is high. Uh, they have like a 90, 95% occupancy. It, it's growing, it's thriving, it's a little bit different. And so I wanna go over that uh, with you right now. So in a growing community, one of the biggest components that I observed uh, with these communities is they have an inward focus okay an inward focus as opposed to a struggling community they have an outward focus now what do I mean by that an inward focus here a growing community they uh, are more interested in their residents they know their residents they involve their residents I mean with uh, activities uh, get the residents input and also the residents know them I mean this was so amazing about this whole thing is the residents will interface with the leadership when I walk in these communities and they are a growing community I see uh, residents coming up to the executive director or the nurse and they give them a hug or they acknowledge them and they smile and you can just tell they're, they're at home that is the sign of a growing community is an inward focus a struggling folk, uh, community, there's an outward focus. What they focus in on is what was called CMA. It's kind of a um, comparative market analysis. They'll go and compare their community with the community down the street and see how that works out for you. And they'll get the room rent of the community down the street and how is it comparison to ours. They're always looking at the data. Over here, they're more focused on the relationships now I'm not saying there's no room for data because I am a numbers guy I believe there's there's power in knowing your numbers however you've got to have a stronger focus on your community than you do on the exterior what's happening outside over here in the growing community they know their identity they know who they are over here in the struggling community they're still trying to figure out who they are okay so focus on this. this is one of the key observations that I see in a growing community versus a struggling community is inward focus versus an outward focus the other thing is now I see in a growing community is they will invite others to experience their community they will invite others to experience their community because what happens is because they're so focused on their residents that they have, they're forming a co cohesive unit, uh, a bond, if you will, uh, you know, just kind of sticking together a community. And so when they invite others, they just invite others to come experience what they already have. The struggling community, what they'll do is, and I talked about this in yesterday's video, is that they'll stage the tour. They'll try to fabricate uh, what's going on. They don't really know their identity. I mean, I kind of equate to this kind of like I roll up to Burger King and I know I'm gonna get a you know a Whopper or a hamburger or a cheeseburger or something like that. Let's say I go up there today and I walk in Burger King and they got a gourmet chef in the lobby and he's preparing filet mignon, lobster, and all of that. I'd be like, whoo, my gosh, you have got to go to that Burger King. And then the next time I go to that Burger King, they're back to the Whopper, the hamburger, the cheeseburger, right? So when you stage the tour, if you're not doing this correctly and given a true experience of who you really are, all you're doing is setting yourself up and the resident and their family up for failure because they are eventually gonna figure it out that man, when they came in and all those activities that were going on during the tour, don't usually happen so make sure you you have this but it takes this right here guys takes work this right here takes work this is a relationship that takes work that's data that's running numbers that's just comparing yourself to someone down the street over here is inviting 
people to the experience. Don't stage it, okay? And finally, I gotta look at the other one. Oh, here it is. Okay, the third one, this is the most important out of all of it because once you do all the hard work of a growing community that I observe uh, and the ones I go to is they actually tell people their story. Over here, they have to sell people what's going on. They have to sell, they have big one bedroom apartments. They have to sell that they have happy hour every Thursday night. They have to sell all these things. Over here in the growing community, they just tell. Man, let me tell you about the resident last week. His name is William, he's down the hall, 102. Man, he's a veteran. He comes down, he plays the piano during lunch hour. Woo, they tell a story. So these are some of the key observations that I wanna encourage you with today. If you want to be a growing community, if you know somebody that is an executive director or an administrator and you know they're struggling or if you know they're growing, man, applaud them. If they're growing, they're probably applying these three principles. These three attributes are probably evident in who they are. They have an inward focus. They invite people to just experience what they do on a daily basis and they tell people over here, don't be so outward focused. I, I mean, if you are a struggling community, let's say your sense is not where it needs to be and you know you got a lot more vacancies than you care to think about and, and you lose sleep over it at night, know your numbers. Know what the market uh, dictates for one bedroom, all that information. But I can implore you to focus on the relationships of the seniors. These are just observations I see because when I walk into this community, I just sense something different. It's like there's confidence, there's competence, there's all just a feel of strong leadership because they develop this core within their community and they are a community. Over here, they're striving to be, but I believe they're doing it the wrong way. Incorporate the numbers, but focus more on the relationship. Don't worry about staging the tour. Don't worry about doing that. Don't set people up for failure. Invite people to experience what you truly are about because once they get there and they see the tour and they go and they like it, then they're going to like it the next day. But if you stage it and they like it, they're not going to like it the next day. So don't do that. And then you'll have the joy of being able to tell people the story instead of sell people. I hope this helps you out again. My name is Matt Stafford. Uh, there's also a link to the free webinar for the senior living referral business. If you'd like to check it out and see what I do and how you can help seniors and families at no cost, hit the link below. Oh, yeah.